And I need to tell you guys why I love this guy so much. First of all, when I was first sworn in as governor, in fact, even before, Lamar reached out to me, offered to be of a help to me, and I'm going to tell you why. Some of you may not remember this, but uh, I was minding my own business in mind of the Capitol as lieutenant governor. And our governor was caught up in whitewater-related felonies. Something happened I never thought would happen. An Arkansas jury convicted a sitting Democrat of a felony while he was in office with a Republican as the backup. <laughs> now, folks, that just doesn't happen. <laughs> not in my state. <laughs> And it was the beginning of a whole series of uh, felony convictions for elected officials. In fact, it got to the place where we said the five most feared words of an Arkansas politician were, Will the defendant please rise? Lamar <laughs> <laughs> is something about taking office in an unexpected manner and in the midst of a whirling controversy and reached out to me and was a tremendous source of help, inspiration, and personal assistance. When Lamar Alexander ran for president, it was my privilege to be on his National Steering Committee. One of three people who were a part of that National Steering Committee. I traveled all over Iowa with Lamar. I've seen more cornfields than you knew existed in America, his, his campaigns and mine. And somehow it always seems that I'm always picking the number two guy. First Lamar, then me. <laughs> But I think it would be very fair to say that Lamar and I both stand united in our excitement, enthusiasm, and absolute total support for John McCain and Sarah Palin. And that's why we're here today to ask all Republicans across America to get behind this great team we have because this great nation needs great leadership. And I'm excited that the Alaska folks are here with us. I know you people are very proud of you. about you guys, I'm a little tired of hearing some of this criticism of Governor Palin. In fact, you know, part of what makes me really upset is this stuff about, well, I don't know if she's got a lot of experience. I was a governor ten and a half years. I know something about what that job is about. And I'm going to tell you something. Sarah Palin has more experience being a governor two years than Joe Biden has had in making speeches and press appearances on Meet the Press in 35 years. Right. <laughs> but I also would point out something that I think is pretty important. Sarah Palin got more votes running for mayor of Wasilla than Joe Biden got running for president in two different tribes. <laughs> One of the things I appreciate most is the fact we've got some great relationships with the people of Tennessee. Obviously, my longtime friendship with Senator Alexander, who remains, I consider him Arkansas's real senator. The reason is, is we don't have a Republican senator, so I look next door, and it's not just that he's a neighbor, a neighbor in geography, but he's a neighbor in spirit. Lamar, Lamar Alexander is probably one of the most significant senators in understanding the unique balance between the states and the federal government. And there is no one in the United States Senate that governors look to with more respect and more sense of understanding than Lamar Alexander when it comes to trying to make sure that the interests of states are remembered before the United States Senate. And Lamar, thank you, because every governor, Democrat or Republican, appreciates and loves you for that <coughs> incredible understanding that you have of having been in that office, and we're grateful for that. And I'll always cherish you as a dear friend. Thank you very much for your leadership. I'm told Senator Corker is here. Is he here this morning? Senator, did they make you sit in the back of the room like that all the time? <laughs> You know what, if you came to an Arkansas event, by golly, I'd have you at the front table. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you, Senator. And Senator Cork has already established himself as one of the leading experts on energy in the entire nation. And he's doing a great job, not just for Tennessee, but for the country. And I'm so grateful to him. Uh, someone told me Senator Frist is going to be here today. Is that, is that true? Yeah. He was here early. I'm going to be with him later. 
So I'll save all the kind words for him later. Why waste good words when he's not even here to hear them? By golly, when I say something nice about somebody, I want them to hear it so they would hear me. It's politics, folks, and it's suck up 101.